Hello everyone, it's Lean. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pocket hat. Uh, you're going to need around 100 grams of yarn and I used a 4.5 millimeter hook. You're going to start by making the slip knot. Now you're gonna chain 2 and make 10 double crochet Now to make the double crochet you need to yarn over and go through the loop and pull the yarn Now you're gonna yarn over again and get out of 2 yarns then yarn over again and get out the rest And you're gonna repeat the same method until you reach 10 double crochets on your loop Uh, after sealing the loop, you have to go through the first stitch that you made and do a slip stitch there. Now we're gonna chain two and do uh, double crochets, two double crochets in each stitch. So the total number would be 20. Now we're gonna chain two again and do a double crochet in, a fir uh, in the first stitch and then two double crochets in the second one and you're gonna repeat that so you'll have a total of 30 stitches. So as you can see now I did a double crochet in the first stitch and then I'm gonna do two double crochets in the second one. And I'll show you a drawing later so you can follow me easily.
and at the end of each row you're gonna do a slip stitch in the first stitch of the row now we're gonna chain two and do uh, in the first two stitches you're gonna make one double crochet each and then in the third stitch we're, get, uh, stitch we're gonna make uh, two double crochets so it's one double crochet one double crochet two double crochets and then at the end of the row you're gonna have a total of 40 stitches I made the drawing to simplify things for you like I said before uh, you see in the green means double crochet so you make 10 double crochets in the first row and then in the second row you're gonna make two double crochets in each stitch so you have 20 and then uh, uh, you go the same way like for example in row 7 you're gonna make uh, 1 2 3 4 5 uh, double crochets in the first five stitches and then you're gonna do two double crochets in the stitch number uh, six and the same way until you reach uh, uh, the row number eight and as you can see here I made it as the drawing that I explained before and now we're gonna uh, do the rest of the hat so this is the top of it and then we're gonna chain two and do like one double crochet in each stitch at the same number that we stopped which is 80 stitches so we're gonna put one double crochet in each of the 80 stitches for six rows as you can see now i made six rows only one double crochet in each stitch and now i'm gonna do the rest of the hat previous drawing we made eight rows and then we added five uh, which is one single uh, one uh, one double crochet in each stitch and now you're gonna start from row 15 just try to follow this drawing at each row you're at uh, the number of rows are on the right so as you can see the only difference that in row number 15 we're only gonna go through the front loop because now we're making like the hat go away from the head so only only row number 15 we're gonna go through the front loop only and uh, as you saw in the drawing you're gonna do seven uh, double crochets in the first seven stitches and then you're gonna do do two double crochets in the stitch number eight As you can see I made seven double crochets and now I'm at um, stitch number eight and I'm gonna do two double crochets in the same stitch Now I followed what I what I draw in the drawing and now I'm at um, row 19 so I did uh, 11 uh, double crochets in each stitch and then in stitch number 12 I did two double crochets so total number would be 130 stitches now our basic hat is done so uh, I'm just gonna add an extra row so I can like uh, add a design to the edge of it so as you can see I'm gonna do uh, a, a backward single crochet so I chain one and then I'm gonna go through the last stitch that I made not the first one because we're going backward single crochet and I'm gonna go through the stitch uh, and uh, pull the yarn and then I'm gonna yarn over and get out of the two yarns it's a bit tricky but you'll get used to it and you're gonna repeat the same method in each 
stitch until you reach the, the very first stitch that you made in the last row. This row is totally optional but it's highly recommended. Now I reached the last stitch, so now I'm gonna just try to finish my work by uh, uh, chaining one and cutting the yarn. I chained one by hand, as you can see, and then you pull the yarn through the loop. We're gonna seal the stitch by using the darning needle. Uh, you're just gonna try to go through the previous stitches to seal your work and then cut the yarn off. Now the bucket hat is ready, but I added these tiny uh, letters that I made and the dots because um, it, it's related to the TV show Friends. And uh, maybe I'll, I'll post a tutorial on how to make them. Uh, it is random because you're just gonna have to follow the shape of the letter to make it. But if you want, I can show you how. And then you're gonna just uh, uh, sew this, these letters into the hat if you want, but it's also optional. And you're gonna attach the rest of the, the letters in the same way and you're gonna you can attach anything actually 
anything that you want to put on your bucket hat you can add it uh, this is the final look hope you like it and if you have any question please don't hesitate to ask thank you for watching